Hey guys, today we're doing a quick video on the differences between the Noodler's Flex, the Noodler's Conrad, and the Noodler's Ahab. And you guys might have seen my video where I compare the um, Flex to the Charlie. So, the Flex is the smallest currently. Um, it has a piston fill mechanism, which you twist the back to fill, and mine has had pigment ink in it, so it is still dirty, even though I've cleaned it multiple times. Um, that is something you do want to be careful about with these sort of um, pins. Even if you move the piston all the way to the back and use a Q-tip to swab it, if you're using a pigmented ink, it can affect the interior of your pen. Now, it has the smallest nib, and it has a small flex nib to it, and this is a cloven nib, and the cleft in it goes all the way back. You can remove the ebonite feed and sort of tinker and adjust your feed to suit what you want it for. I use these for drawing and writing so I do want a nice juicy ink flow, no skips, no starts. So all three of these pins are approximately 20 to 22 dollars depending on where you're getting them from. Now, next is the Conrad. It is pretty much like a larger version of the Flex in that it is also a piston filled pen. This one is brand new. I've just cleaned it, but I have never filled it. That's why it looks so good. So you twist the back to move the piston and it has a cap cover. So once you've filled it or you've um, emptied it completely, you can screw this in place and that'll prevent this from getting jostled in your, your purse or your bag. Whereas this um, does not have any protection. As you can see, they're almost the same length. Um, and actually looking at them, the Flex is only a slight bit smaller than the Conrad. Using the same size nib is the Ahab. And this isn't the full Ahab. This is just to demonstrate that this has a plunger body. The Ahab is much bigger than the Flex. It's almost a little too big for me to hold comfortably. They use the same size nib. They both have ebonite feeds. I find that even though they do have the same nib and feed system, that the Conrad is a little easier to um, pull out and replace, mostly because I can see on my demonstrator here where the nib is sitting, and I can't do that on my Ahab. So that was just a quick overview of the Noodler's Flex, the Noodler's Ahab, and the Noodler's Conrad. I hope my artsy friends found that helpful and useful. If you have any questions or would like to see a particular pen demonstrated, let me know in the comments below.